over here so uh, see you can see m plus 1 is so small it is so small that it's very difficult to even see it uh, that's how small the abundance of carbon 13 is and then we have an m plus 2 peak two peak uh, we have m peak m plus one peak in the middle right here very small and an m plus two peak so uh, as you can see the heights the ratios of the heights of the m plus two and m peak tell us about the halogen in this case the two peaks are of equal height which means that x is bromine because we know that both isotopes of bromine are present in equal abundance so if the heights are equal then I have bromine, X is bromine, because, I'll write the reason, because uh, M is 2, M plus 2, Isotopes, both isotopes of bromine are present in equal abundance. That's how you write these answers. That's the way to get the marks. All right, so we have answered this question. Uh, let's move on. If the relative heights of the M and M plus 1 peaks are 9 and 0, 0 0.3 respectively, calculate the value of P. So this is the first part. I am not reading ahead because uh, let me just analyze this part of the question, solve this part and then move on to the next part. So uh, I have the ratios of M is to M plus 1 as 9 is to 0 0.3. Uh, so I know that N is equal to 100 over 1.1 1 .1 into 100 over 1.1 into 0 0.3 which is the M plus 1 over 9 which is the M peak. And now let me use my calculator to calculate this value of n. So I have 100 into 0 0.3 divided by bracket open 1.1 into 9 bracket closed. So I have 3.03 something like 3.0303 it's recurring so I put a bar over here. I get this 3.03 because the 03 is recurring and uh, I can approximate this to 3 because that's my nearest whole number. So I can I have 3 carbon atoms. So P I can say is equal to 3. And uh, we know that. So now look at the M peak. So from the M peak we know that the MR of this molecule of CPHQX. The MR is equal to 122. The M peak is at 122. So the MR is equal to 122, we have 3 carbon atoms and we have 1 bromine atom. So when I subtract 36 for the 3 carbon atoms and 79 for the 1 bromine atom, then what I get is uh, 122 minus 36 minus 79. So I get 7. 7 is quite a reasonable number for uh, for hydrogen atoms because I can have seven hydrogens attached to three carbons uh, which happens so 
uh, propane is C3H8. Here I've just replaced and 